In this video, we'll be talking about anencephaly. Anencephaly is a neural tube defect where the entire brain of the baby fails to form. So our brain develops from a sheet of cells known as the neuroectoderm. We are looking at this neural tube formation in a uh, dorsal view and a cross-sectional view. You can see the yellow layer would eventually be folded and it will give the blueprint of the nervous system. Here you can see a neural groove or a dimple has formed initially. Eventually this gets deeper and deeper and eventually rolls into a tube. And this is known as neural tube closing. This event of neural tube closure is really important to for, for formation of the nervous system. Now in human, the nervous, the, the neural tube closure in the cranial end, that means towards the head of the embryo, happens at the day 24. Neural plate begins to form at day 22. Eventually, the neuropore closes at day 24. And in situations when the closure doesn't happen properly, that leads to problems like anencephaly. Now let's talk about the risk factors of anencephaly. One of the potential risk factors for anencephaly is the nutritional defects, especially deficiency of folic acid or vitamin B9. There could be also other effects like exposure to environmental toxicants like pesticides, heavy metals, etc. Obesity and diabetes increase the risk of this kind of defects, but it is not the sole cause that lead to anencephaly. There could be also genetic predisposition among specific group of individual which would increase the chances of having anencephaly. Now it's important to know that within the first trimester, within the first month, the brain development is happening. And at this particular point of time, vitamin B9 and vitamin B12 were absolutely essential. And during this period of time when a pregnant woman even doesn't know that she is pregnant, the brain development is done. So if folate is deficient, it might lead to this kind of problem. That is why all women who is thinking of getting pregnant should at least have 400 micrograms of folic acid daily during pregnancy. Now the incidence of neural tube defect, especially anencephaly, can be found more in developing countries like Africa, India, etc. It is less common in developed countries. Now the question is, how does folate deficiency can lead to this kind of anencephaly or complete absence of absence of the brain? So folate actually gets converted to several intermediates that are give rise to nucleotide. So folate gets reduced by tetrahydrofolate reductase to form tetrahydrofolate. Eventually, 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate is formed. This particular product help in the conversion from DUMP to DTMP. So obviously these are the building block of DNA. So just to simplify all this complicated thing, folate is absolutely essential for nucleotide biosynthesis and thereby DNA synthesis. Both purine and pyrimidine synthesis requires folate. So obviously, when fo folate would be folate would be required for nucleotide biosynthesis, and nucleotides are required for processes like DNA replication, which is absolutely essential for a dividing cell. When folate is deficient, these nucleotide biosynthesis is abrogated. Processes like DNA replication is abrogated, and that is detriment detrimental for a dividing cell. When the brain is developing. The cells are actually stem cells. These neuronal stem cells or neuronal stem cells are the precursor for the neuron and they divide. They need to divide rapidly in order to self-renew, grow the number of cells and also give rise to neurons. So this process is known as neurogenesis and this entire process is abrogated when folate is deficient. Generally, these radial glial progenitor cells give rise to one radial glia and can also give rise to another newborn neuron. Down the timeline, it would also give rise to astrocytes. So all these neurogenic and gliogenic processes are abrogated when folate is deficient because nucleotide synthesis is not good enough and it is not enough to uh, do cell division. In order for a cell to divide, 
DNA has to be replicated first, enough amount of nucleotide has to be there in the cell and that is not possible when folate is deficient. That is why folate deficiency lead to all the uh, neural tube defects. And this is the consequence of folate deficiency, anencephaly. So diagnosis of anencephaly or any other neural tube defects can be done using ultrasound around the week 12 of the pregnancy. Also high level of alpha fetoprotein is another indicator that there is something wrong in the neural tube development. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, give it a quick thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can support our channel using super thanks. See you in next video.